All right, on this video, we are going to work on some Dollar Tree wood hearts. And I've got a few here. I'm going to be working with these, these blank ones. Got, I picked this up at the Crafter Square. It just says love. Got some self-adhesive wall tile. And I've got some paper here. Uh, I've got some ribbon, just hot glue. This first one, we're going to start with these chunky hearts on a stick and some foam and a Dollar Tree planner. And then we're just going to remove the stickers with some heat and a scraper. And just be careful, it's really hot. Now I'm just going to take some scrapbook paper. This I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just figuring out which ones I want to use. I am just going to trace out one of these hearts on the white paper and then two of the hearts on the pink one. Okay, and once we do that, we're just going to cut them out. And then I'm going to put some walnut gel stain from Americana on the back sides, on the sides, and just a little bit on the front of the edges and also on the stem. I'm going to use some plaster chalk paint and I'm just going to give it a little bit of dry brushing and just do it very lightly. And instead of using Mod Podge, I'm just going to use this glue stick. Make sure we get the edges. Just going to go over it with a brayer. Make sure I get it down. All right, and then we're just going to let those dry. I'm just going to take one of these Dollar Tree planners and I'm going to dry brush over it. Give it more of a rustic look with some plaster chalk paint. And I'm not going to worry about the inside because I really don't think that you're going to be able to see it. But if you want to do part of the inside, you can. I am just going to let that dry. And I did notice one of these sticks felt loose. And yeah, it's definitely loose. So I'm going to put a little bit of wood glue in there. And we'll just put some down this little hole. Put that stick back in there. And let that dry. What I'm going to recommend you do is put these in before you put make the holes for where you're going to want these before you put them in the pot. That way you don't hurt yourself. And I want these a little bit shorter, so I'm going to cut off some of the ends. And I'm just going to use my miter shears for that. Right, then you can go ahead and put that in that pot. Okay, I'm going to take some burlap. And I'm going to cut just a little bit off, five inches or so. I'm going to cut one inch strips. I just want like some stems. Kind of pinch that in the center there. I'm going to take a little bit of jute string and just tie that in the center. Put 
little bit of hot glue there. Just hold that in place till that sets up. And then you just do that for the rest of them. All right, what we've got right there. I think those leaves just made the biggest difference. Now I'm going to put some moss in there. I've got to put my bags back in there because I took them out. Just so I don't have to use so much. Now, if you want to make this a little heavier, because it is very light, put some rocks in it before you put the foam in it, and that'll give it some weight so it won't fall over as easy as it's going to right here. All right, what do you guys think of that? I think it's so pretty. We can always put something around this face if you want to, but I'm actually quite fond of it being plain like it is. But let me know what you guys think. All right, for this next one, we're going to need some of these Valentine Heart. I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. They were $3.49, and then they had 40% off. And you get quite a bit of these 12 of these pretty nice size hearts. So I thought that was a really good deal. You're going to need some wood beads, some jute string, and you can either do stencils or Dollar Tree has these wood letters that you can find. Um, you can use those. I'm not sure which way I'm going to go just yet. So I've got both of them out. Uh, you'll need some putty because we're going to fill the holes. And you will also need three bamboo skewer sticks as well as these tumbler goblets that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. But we're not going to need these strings so we can cut those off. You know, I've seen people use hot glue to fill these holes. I'm going to try that. See how well that works. I've never done that before. I don't know that I'm going to like that. We'll, we'll try it with that one. And I'm just going to do it with the spackle on the other two. Just to kind of compare. While that's drying, we're going to take some of these cups. And we're just going to wrap that in some twine. Now, I recommend the hot glue. You put it on low temperature because this plastic it very well is going to get right through it if it's too hot. So I'm just going to take just a little dab to start with. Okay, let that set up. I'll put a little on the other side. I am starting at the bottom of this. And a little bit more. And then we're just going to wrap it all the way around until we get to the top. And when you get to the top, you just want to get it as close to the edge as possible. Just trim it off. All right, and you're going to do that to all three of these. All right, once that's fin once you're finished wrapping these, I'm just going to take a lighter and just kind of burn off some of these hairs. Just be careful because this is plastic and some of those glue strings. <laughs> this is going to give it a little bit more of a rustic look anyway. So win-win. Yeah, I don't like that glue trick. I think I'll just stick the spackling. I got a big old blob right here. And I'm just going to cut this foam down in half. She's using a Dollar Tree scraper. And I'm just going to take some hot glue and glue this foam down. All right, the next thing I want to do is paint these hearts. And I'm going to use the Vintage Victorian and the plaster. And I'm going to do one of them also in the gel stain and walnut. And then after that dries, we're going to make sure we do the back. I'm going to take our skewer sticks and we're going to glue them to one side of our hearts. I 
right, the next thing we want to do is figure out about how tall we want these. And I'm going to want them all different sizes. I definitely don't want them this long. All right, and we're going to use some wood beads to put on the stems. I'm going to put four on that one. I'm going to put six on that one. And I'm going to put three on this one. And we're going to tack down some hot glue on these sticks just so we keep those beads from rolling around. farmhouse ribbon that I've gotten from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use those to make the petals. All right. And we've got our little stems on there. That's so cute. I'm just taking the X out of the wooden letter packet. And I'm just, I want two of the round parts. Because this is going to be an and symbol. Then you can just take a little hand sander and just kind of round it out. All right. So I'm just going to have the letters B and C. And that's first name of my husband, the first letter of my name, and then the and symbol. So I believe I'm just going to do a stencil. I'm going to go ahead and use mineral from Waverly. And since we're going to be stenciling it on, don't want to get too much on your paintbrush. It increases the risk of it bleeding under the stencil. I'm just going to hold it down with my fingers. I'm just going to take a little paintbrush and I'm going to kind of attach the stencil lettering. Now on the white and the pink one, I'm just going to add a little bit of distressing just around the edges. I wish I would have paid attention. I would have put that uh, <laughs> and symbol on the dollar one, but oh well. And we'll just take some moss and put in there. I'm going to work on these hearts. I had also found this one at the Dollar Tree. I thought it was so pretty. The color was pretty much perfect. So I'm going to start with this one because it's not going to need much at all. And I'm going to just put that on there. Okay, so this is actually looking a little too purple. So I'm going to get some paint out and going to do a little bit of paint job on that. I'm going to go ahead and use the Folk Art Chalk Paint in Vintage Victorian. And I'm going to go ahead and just cut this off. This little ta uh, string off and i'm sorry i know i watch a lot of different youtube videos and it seems like everybody every time they start a project they have a clean surface well i like to use my paper as much as i can before tossing it i just hate to throw out the excess trash when i can just keep using it so if that bothers you i'm sorry but it is what it is <laughs> I'm 
All right, it's gonna need a second coat and I don't want these holes here and I should have done this first, but I'm just going to go ahead and try to fill these holes. All right, I'm just gonna put a second coat on this. Okay, so I've got the color Elephant and Waverly Chalk Paint and I'm gonna do a little distressing. If you don't like distressing, by all means skip this, but I just want a little bit of distressing. Like I said, I am just doing a very little bit on my end, but you do as much distressing as you want, if any at all. All right, that's good enough for me. Okay, for the love piece, I'm going to take some territorial beige and I'm going to water it down with some water and give this love sign a little stain with that. All right, then we're going to draw that. All right, so I'm going to want this to kind of set out just a little bit, give it a little bit of a 3D appearance. So I've just got some scrapware dowels that I'm going to trim down with my little miter shears. All right, we're just going to put a little dab of hot glue on the little wood pieces. All right, and I want mine at a little bit of a slant. All right, so what do you guys think? Too plain? I think it looks pretty. I'm going to take some of these tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. We're going to make a stand for this. But I'm going to go ahead and do the same color stain as what's on the top here. We're going to glue three pieces together on each short side before we do the stain. All right, and we're just going to put some glue on the middle one. And when you put these on, you're going to want to make sure that they're even. You're going to squeeze that together until it dries. There, now we've got a stand for it, and it'll stand up on its own. All right, now we're going to work on these hearts. I'm just going to take this hangers off, and we're going to fill these holes. All right, got to let that dry. And you know, you really didn't even have to fill these holes with what we're about to do. But I've got some of these self-adhesive wall tiles from the Dollar Tree, so we're going to be using these. All right, we're just going to cut that out. All right, we're just going to glue those on with some hot glue. Okay, so laid these beads out and they were just half beads that I did get from Amazon. And I put a jingle block on the bottom. That way when I make the stand, I know where not to put those beads. So the next thing we're gonna do on this heart is we are going to glue those beads down. I'm just going to give the glue a minute just to make sure it's all dry. All right. And we are going to glue the Jenga blocks together. Three each times two to the short side. All 
in and just getting up some of these glue strings because I don't want to paint over them. And just to let you know, it took 60 of these half wood beads. Okay, got two coats, plaster chalk paint on both the heart. And we've got these four pieces for the base painted as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some more of the territorial beige with some water. And we're just gonna do a dry brush. It's time to accessorize. And I've got a lot of ribbon here. I figure we can go ahead and make a messy boo. And I got all this ribbon. Well, I got some of the ribbon from Dollar Tree. I got these. And then the other one, this one I got from Bobby Lobby. $3.99 plus 40% off. And then this, I believe, I don't know, I've had it for a while. Whoever sells his and hers, studio his and hers, is where I got this lace ribbon. I want to say it was Hobby Lobby. And then this just came out of a scrap of ribbon that I had purchased. Just a big old bag of scrap ribbon. So I pulled out everything that was pink. <laughs> I've also got some burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I have got some mesh ribbon. I believe I also got from the Dollar Tree. All right. And I've got some more burlap right here. I am going to start with six inch strips. Then I can always trim from there. And I'm not cutting them exactly at six inches. I am actually just going a little past the hearts. It's closest to the 16 inches. And these wider pieces, I'm just gonna cut right down the center. I'm gonna leave those full. One more. And I did, and I'm just starting with six strips each. Squeeze that middle together. And just kind of spread. So I'm going to take a piece of jute. So I can get that tighter. Oh, that is pretty. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. A little shabby chic going on here. <laughs> Love it. There's some of these buttons I picked up at Hobby Lobby. $2.99 plus the 40% off. I've got some of these hearts that I also picked up at Hobby Lobby. They were $2.99 plus 40% off. I think I'm going to take some. I'm actually going to tie a piece of string on here. It's a little bit longer so it'll hang down. I'm going to take some of this plaster and lighten up this paint color called lacquer from Waverly. Just a hair. Make sure you paint the back.
don't know about the hearts. What do you guys think? You know in the comments below, should I keep the hearts on or should I remove them? All right, there we have it. All that's left for this one is to put the stand on. There we have it. Oh, I think it's so pretty. And then just do the same thing to the second one. Of course, when you cut it, your paper, you're gonna wanna make sure your hearts are actually facing the right way. So I'm gonna have to recut this one. Thank you.